Oh, it's okay, Tanti. What do you do for that? I think that was still. I can't do that. Silly, very good. Thank you. This is the Fiedian local market. To carry him back in the day, well, now. Special mango, the same pancake with eggs, egg. fresh bananas, bananas. <laughs> and of course our favorite our our ah. coffee. <laughs> yeah, off for our next destination, which is Kaobang. It's about 100 kilometers away. We will have another local guide once we're there. So we say goodbye to Queen yesterday. Um, auntie, she's one of the owners. Thank you, Auntie, for your yeah. homestay. <laughs> Oh <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh Putting the lion in the cage. <laughs> We're off. We're off for our journey. <coughs> That's it. To Kabang. How many uh, kilometers we go? About uh, 100 kilometers. 100, okay. But the uh, road is very difficult. Oh, okay. Slowly, slowly. Yeah, slowly, slowly. Say bye auntie. See you soon. Take care. Bye bye. bye. local market oh it's really cold outside just open the window everyone's so packed up we are picking up our guide for the feather of feathering of our trip so we're at the local market right now People look at us very, very strangely. I suppose it's because we look a little different. Hello, hi, Xiaomi. Hello. Xin Xiao. Oh, it's okay, Tanti, it's okay. Oh, okay, just take, just take, go. Say thank you. One thing I have to say is that when everybody sees Om, oh, hello, everyone gets really excited. Yeah, that's it. Look at that. Look at what he scored. No, 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 use your hand, uh, hand to bite. Got some local knife weaponry. <laughs> These are all for farming, I believe. See the sickle? Wow. Should we buy some mandarin? Orange? He has. Oh, no, I think we can buy. <laughs> uh, yeah. Depend on the weight? Yeah, depend on the weight. About approximately? It's about one and... <laughs> <it's two. laughs> one and sixty. 160,000. Yeah. So that's $8. We are on our way to a bamboo forest. Tian, what, what is the story with the bamboo forest? It's, it's just many bamboo trees. Yeah, just many bamboo trees. They, to, they grow the bamboo tree to cut? Yeah, to cut and to sell. To cut and sell. So it's like a farm. Yeah, like a farm. Uh, but, uh, very huge. Huge, I see. Okay. Huge. Was COVID very bad? Yeah, Vietnam all closed. Yeah. Yeah, no local tourists also. Local no local tourists. tourists. No, it's okay. <coughs> 
Uh, almost two years, we don't, um, don't have no have chance to speak English because of COVID. Because of COVID, oh. nothing. We're entering the forest. <laughs> Already looks pretty amazing. It's just built like the road for the traveler. Oh, I can see. Yeah, about the build they build the road about in almost only two years. Oh, during COVID. <laughs> yeah. So I was curious about how bamboo grows, whether like, you know, once they harvest it, do they actually have to go and plant it again? But apparently when they cut it, it already has the roots from the bottom, so it just kind of continues growing. It's like self-sustaining. Cut, grow, cut, grow. But obviously it takes a long time for it to grow this high. Comparing it to yesterday's little forest where we had to, I don't know, fight with little flies and fend off big trees that had dried. This forest is, on the contrary, much more beautiful. It's easier. Um, they have a proper pathway that apparently that they put in about two years ago. So I like this one better. It's bigger, beautiful, and I've never actually walked through a proper bamboo forest before. So this is a change for me. Like uh, just a shot. Just a rest hut. Just a rest hut. The nice thing about this forest is that they actually literally have bathrooms everywhere. I need to get to clean and protect the forest while you're roaming through it. Wow, okay, thank you. Thank you. Tien works with an NGO. So tour guiding is his part-time job. And the NGO that he works with basically helps um, the poorer people that live up in the mountains to um, they, they don't know how to look after themselves so he said they build health care for them um, they build schools um, they don't even have like a water stream up there so they teach them teach you teach also teach yeah. them how to build like tanks to collect yeah. water in that's amazing yeah and we three no we, five years ago we have we have a project to build uh, Solar power. Oh wow! Yes. Solar power and yeah. with the with the with the group from Germany, from Germany. From Germany. Oh. Uh, yeah, we 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 took uh, we took three hours on on the walk from the walk up to yeah. the village. Wow! It took three hours. Carrying, yeah, no, it's just we we can't carry oh, we can't carry because it's very high and very hard for us. Okay. The the, the local people. They are carry everything. Oh, they help to carry, okay. But we, we can, it's very high for us. Too high, I see. This discovery of the forest, you know, it's, it's it's so remarkable that you're able to find it. And the only reason why we can find things like this is because we always choose to work with someone who's actually local. Yeah, so they come from the region, they're not with a big company. They know all the little roots and the little food places and obviously the forests. So there you have it. That's why it's really important to go local, choose local. It helps them. It keeps it fluid and we get to actually explore what's really nice and raw. I highly recommend coming to a forest like this, but definitely do come with someone because it's quite confusing. There are many signs and things like that, but still, I don't think I'll be, we would be able to meander here without having a local guide. So. Because we have one. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Who owns this forest? Uh, the local people here. Yeah. Who not, live not in government. No government. No government. They, and uh, they grow the bamboo. They just the people, so they yeah. they farmer. They come here. They yeah. plant. They plant, and now they are the own here. And but the government help them to. To be able, like, uh, yeah, to make it all. Right, right, right. We just finished our walk through the bamboo forest, and we're out in the bit of a main road to walk towards the car to get towards the driver. 
Um, that was actually very, very beautiful. And I like what Mario said before. He said, if you walk in this forest, like you feel like an hour of your life has been increased. <laughs> so do you feel like you're going to live an hour more, Mario? <laughs> Broken motorcycle, I'm towing it up. That's really, really steep to go up. <laughs> so you definitely need a certain amount of physical capacity to do something like this. Like, it's not easy. It took us a lot of effort getting here, walking through, and especially walking back to the car. Not for the faint-hearted, but definitely one for the book. My mom's tired. We used to carry him back in the day. Well, now, obviously, the bug is a bit bigger. So, <laughs> there are ways to encourage him to keep going. Right now, Mario's the horse. <laughs> or maybe he's the tow truck. I don't know. Owns a motorbike. <laughs> For lunch, family. The roads are so windy. Me and Ol feel a little ill. Spring rolls, eggs, and toast. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that was good. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, the rice looks amazing. That's good. I'd be like, eat local, buy local, take the guide local, drink local. <laughs> <laughs> very nice. Ah, chili, very good. Thank you. 